Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the activation function and the working algorithm of a backpropagation network. Already we have discussed what is a backpropagation network and the working, uh, the way in which an algorithm is designed for a uh, backpropagation network. So in this session, uh, we are going to see about the different activation uh, function that is actually used in this backpropagation network. There are three activation functions, binary sig model, bipolar sig model and hyperbolic kind function. So just know what it is. The, what is the formula for each and everything? So binary sig model activation function is actually when the input actually deals with the uh, values between zeros and ones. Okay, not in the negative values. We go ahead with this binary sig model activation function. It, it is given like this. A sig model activation function that acts only between this zero and one category. A bipolar will go like this. Like a bipolar function will be uh, between this. Uh, negative values and that okay so based on the input pattern that you take and based on the output that is needed we decide on which activation function that is more suitable for the given example uh, given uh, data set okay on uh, binary sig model activation function f of x function is used to calculate when we are combining this uh, converting this z in function z in function to z okay so z in function is the input that we receive from all the input neurons and it is then calculated to z and here you are going to use the activation function of f of x and by calculating the reverse of it like when you are calculating the error function we use the reverse function of f dash of x for uh, the error function between the output to hidden layer and hidden layer to the input neuron and similarly for bipolar sigma model function these two are the functions and hyperbolic tangent function these two are the values okay so this is totally based on the given input of uh, structure input neural network uh, data okay i can just precisely say that the water whatever is the data pattern that you're going to present it and what exactly is the output needed we decide on any one of the activation function and based on the values actually makes okay so next i'm going to show you the uh, working algorithm of how exactly a backpropagation network will be there okay along with this formula i'm going to put up a uh, pseudocode structure of showing how exactly this algorithm works and this is then followed by one example for it now followed by the activation function this is the actual algorithm that is followed like uh, we have uh, given all the formulas inside and step by step procedure for how does this backpropagation algorithm works so first step is we are going to initialize all the weights so whenever this backpropagation algorithm starts any neural network algorithm starts we randomly give some values for all the input parameters Okay, so for all the weight vectors, we are going to assign some random values and uh, we are going to check the stopping criteria. Mostly stopping criteria will be the number of iterations needed or uh, we go with the till end of your input patterns. Okay, we are going to check the uh, stopping criteria and if it is false, we are going to start the training. So for each and every training pair, so number of uh, iteration will be the stopping criteria and for each and every training pair, we are going to proceed with this algorithm. Okay, so first step is feed forward of input. So the three steps in backpropagation algorithm is input, uh, uh, the feed forward of input from the input layer to the hidden layer to the output layer, calculate the output, backpropagation of error, check with the error and backpropagate the error function and updation of the weights. So algorithm is actually divided into training algorithm and application algorithm. Application algorithm is also called as uh, testing one. Okay, so training algorithm consists of all the three phases, whereas testing algorithm is just send the input, get the final target output. Okay, so now uh, first step in feed forward of input is we are going to check all this xi value and we are going to calculate from the hidden input layer to the hidden layer. So here you are going to consider it as xi, zz and yk, a common LMS. So you have uh, n number of input neurons and uh, I think n number of where is it yeah p number of hidden layer neuron and uh, n number of the final neurons okay so what I'm going to do is we are going to calculate for the hidden layer in, uh, actually hidden layer receives the input from the input neuron so for each and every hidden layer we are going to calculate z and z Okay, so this consists of combining all the weight vectors with the bias. So with the bias by weight followed by input into weight of each and every neuron. 
Okay, once the ZN say is calculated, we are going to calculate the output signal that is based on the activation function it is applied. And once the input is passed from input to feed and, uh, feed and layer, next is from feed and layer to output neuron, we are going to calculate the function. So here it is the function for YK. For all your hidden layer, it get the input from ZZ. Okay, so with the bias value, with the ZZ into, with the bias value, with the ZZ into the weight value, we are going to calculate this Y in K, followed by applying the activation function, you are going to get the output of it. So this is your feed forward. One step, take it and assign it, finally you get the output. Now once you receive your output, your YK is your output and TK is the target that is received from the training pad. Okay, it is a supervised learning. So, supervised learning consists of input, consists of input followed by the target. So, you are going to find the weight vector of it, uh, find the uh, error function of it. So, error function between the output and hidden layer is calculated as del k and it is the target value minus the output that you have received out of this drag propagation of either uh, feed forward of input followed by the reverse function. So, here we have used f of uh, Z and J and here you are going to use the inverse function of it. Whatever is the uh, activation function that you have used, you have to use the reverse of it, inverse of the function and once this del K is calculated, you are going to find the updation, the weight correction to be made. So del W J is the weight correction that is to be made and the alpha is the uh, learning parameter. Okay, alpha is the learning rate and it is a constant value. And del K is the value that is calculated over here and ZZ is the value that is calculated over here. Okay. And for bias, you don't have ZZ. It is 1. So, you can write it directly. And this is the uh, error function computed between the hidden layer and the output. Output to hidden. And next from hidden to input, you, here you don't have a target for the hidden layer. Right. So, we are going to directly calculate this del and J using this formula. And then we apply your inverse function for calculating the error value of it. The same as that here. But here, since you know the target value, we have minus the actual output that you got with the target value. But here you don't have a uh, target for each and every output neurons. Okay, it is a hidden layer. So we use this function for calculating it. And this is the formula for weight updation as we have it for your, uh, how to say, the layers like hidden output to hidden and hidden to input layer. Okay, so once the backpropagation of error is done, finally is the weight updation. So weight updation is since we have calculate, already calculated the correction to be made, so we are going to update it here. So WIK, uh, between this output and the uh, error function, output and the hidden layer, all your WIK new is old plus the correction that has to be made. And similarly between this uh, hidden layer to the input neuron, you have this new weights as old plus the adjustment to be made that is calculated over here. Okay, so you are going to repeat this process until the stopping criteria. Stopping criteria usually will be the number of iterations that is needed by the user. Okay, so this is a training algorithm. So training algorithm will be iterated n number of times, the weight will be adjusted. So finally, what is the use of it? Finally, we are going to use this approach to check whether it is working in a real time or not. Okay, so for checking this, that is you have the application algorithm. So application algorithm goes regarding uh, like this. So we are going to initialize all the weights. So these weights are taken from the training algorithm. So after the training is done, you will have a weight vector, right? So that is going to be initialized as the first step. And second step, you are going to pass the input, calculate your uh, weight, uh, calculate the output of ZZ. Okay, so first we calculate Z in Z and apply the activation function. And this is then passed to the output layer. And we are going to calculate y in k and apply activation function, you will get the final output. Okay, so this is the application algorithm of it. So this actually consists of all the formulas that is needed. So next I will show you an example for how this backpropagation network works. Thank you.